I'm trying to think of that other street that's over on the other side um, that goes perpendicular to Snetton, and it was also there was a, a university or something over there. Uh, 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 well, there's Chestnut Hill. Chew, is it Chew? Chew, no. uh, Chew, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, yeah. You want to get hooked up? Not yet. I had one of those. All right, when you turn green, I'll hook you up. Hook me up. On the yeah, Gloria. Okay. okay. Is, that a, is that a mini tramp behind you there, on the Gloria? On the floor there? Over, uh, your, right, over your right shoulder? Oh, that's a rebounder. Oh, that's what I thought, okay. Yeah, and actually my dog is sleeping on it right now. We have a dog. I kept looking at it. Is that a No, it's a, it's a, a piece of furniture. Oh, it's a rebound. Yeah. It's both. Oh, okay. He likes it too. Do you like to jump on it or what? I, I used to. I haven't been doing that for quite a while. I, I uh, started going to the gym and I, I do laps now. Swim. Oh, nice. A little bit of weights. and um, Yeah. So I haven't done it in a while. That's good. I know it's good. It's back in shape though. Yeah, it feels good. We had, we had a guy come and teach us how to rebound once in our old company before. Mm -hmm. At the, the World Harmonic Unified Ministers, and we had like 12 of those things in the room, and then each person's like, <laughs> and then the guy was like instructing us, and we're all bouncing around. It's so funny. It's supposed to be good for your lymph exactly. your lymph system. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. It works too. Definitely. I liked doing it a lot when I was a kid, jumping on trampolines. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, that was a blast. It's too scary. I was so little, I'd go flying off. And <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> I had to watch it. Especially if a heavier kid got up on there with me. Wow. I had to have really strong knees. Balance myself up. Uh, yeah. I'm rearranging my office. I did, I did a re redecorated job with Alejandro there, you see. Made a, another sleeping area. Oh, nice. Thank you. That's very nice. It's very sunny. It is. It's really sunny right now. The sun yeah. is just comes right in this window. It's great. This is a great room. I just want you all to know I'm filming this. This is the first wow. time we've ever filmed the uh, the uh, prayer meeting, our first filming of the prayer meeting. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what's going to come of it, but I know I'd like to see Ron have a little more light when he reads the prayers. Yeah, a little camera. That's, well, just that's, nourishment. that's what I that's what I know about Ron. Mm -hmm. And uh, my body is so quiet because she's filming. That's why. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. You should have let that. <laughs> <laughs> and a makeup phone or something. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted uh, also well, let's not use people's names if we talk about people who aren't here, unless you know they're just the, some of the regulars. Um, but Barb, as far as our friend who's supposedly doing an immersion weekend with us mm -hmm. this weekend, um, just exactly how much pot does he use, and what what's that all about? Oh, uh, what's it all about? I guess he uses just it's like his way of managing himself. He he combines it with tobacco, and he says maybe like a like a small amount for every couple two three weeks. But he's yes, he's been doing that forever, and it was just recently that he realized that maybe it was a was a, something that he might want to discontinue. But he didn't think he could do it by himself. Right. So, so it's not that, it's not like a heavy duty thing. So he doesn't like, do it every day. No. Well, maybe he does it every day, but he doesn't do it like at work and stuff. Because when he comes home, it's like the way somebody would have a drink or something. He'll have it when he comes home. Because it occurred to me that he um, that's why he can't get a signal. That could be, yeah. That interferes. It's interfering with his getting yeah. a signal. Well, I think what might be interfering is the fact that he hasn't discussed it openly with everybody. Because like that's possible. I know that was true with me too. If you have any kind of hidden anything, yeah. once you talk about it, it's not really that. It's the secret of it or the withhold or whatever. Yeah, right. But, it's the withhold. But sometimes, yeah, it, the near one itself could do it, or the just like Candida does it. Yeah. So. Um, Makes me wonder if she has any withholds. I'm sure she does. And that would interfere with her too. So one thing that I'm thinking is that maybe they, that he should uh, not try to do the immersion weekend this weekend. We can just reschedule it. 
And was, what he needs to do is discontinue the pot. Oh, I see. Just like like go at least a week. We could like we could do the immersion if you know if he if he stops the pot now he, we could do the immersion thing the following week. I'll probably we'll see. Let's what say else? or whatever. But but you know, uh, it's it's just it's a. Well, I prefer I, I prefer to do it this weekend. Maybe we could just ask him to not. It's an exercise his... in futility. It has to wear off. Well, I'll mention it today to see if they can. Today's only Monday. Because I'd yeah. rather not have to keep pushing this back so far. It's not like he's a heavy-duty pot user all day long. Okay, because, but yeah, but it, it seems like he, he's not getting a signal. And how well, would you... We, how we, would haven't you really, we haven't spent much time with giving him, getting him a signal. Though. How would you like him to go through the whole weekend without getting one? Well, I don't think we'd go too far without him getting one for some sort of... Yeah, I don't think so either, so... Oh, no, but I'm saying, no, I'm saying that I don't think I would proceed... All right. Why don't Why don't you see if you can meet with him and he can get a signal? There you go. Okay. Before that. we start doing okay, an immersion, cool. ask. we can okay, keep okay, pushing okay. it back and he can come back later. You can get him, you can assign movies and things to him to watch. Okay. Well, yeah. Well, I think I could get him to get a signal like tomorrow or the next day, and then we can go on. Let's do that. Okay. Okay. Good that's, idea. That's a good plan. Okay. All right. Well. I'm, the only person I'm actually waiting for here is Greg, who is around, but he uh, was running behind schedule. So that's why we're uh, like going a little uh, slowly. So as long as we are going a little slowly, um, I, I wanted to say, Alejandro, that I really admire your perseverance in curing your panic. And... Uh, you know, um, just I'd like to get a sense of where you are with it now. Have have you had a panic attack within the last week? I well, I think I'm not even remember when was the last time I had panic attack. So it was weeks. I don't ago. remember at all. So Sometimes I have um, maybe a little bit anxiety, but it's just, there's nothing compared to before. And you go out and you do all the normal things now. Yes. So, so yes. you're so you're living a normal life. Yeah, I just need to drive again and the speed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I've been feeling a hundred percent much better. Well, and driving if you haven't done it for a while, it is it's prudent to practice somewhere you know like with less stress before you go into major traffic. Yes. That's a good thing. Yeah. I was thinking about, you know, Sunday morning, thinking right. that, so slowly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, sometimes it's good to get some breath and go to, um, in the afternoon when so much traffic and the sick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so but I know, uh, just slowly, slowly. I'm going to get there. Yeah, that's good. Well, uh, I'm very proud of you. You've done it. You, you've done great things for yourself and I know Barb and Ross have helped you over the months yeah with this. I was mm -hmm. that's an amazing thing that's the best, best choice I made actually to join so. yeah it and was for everybody I know it was an important choice it is this <laughs> Have you shown other people how to get signals? Uh, to me, uh, one of my friends, and uh, she's been actually getting there, but um, she needs more confidence and she needs more... Because some people, they don't believe, you know. They, I have, I've been so many people, and nobody actually believes. I said, well, what's the point of me for me to lie? You can see me, how, the way I am now, so, and you know. But it's still getting, getting more of, need more time actually. Mm -hmm. And I was telling Barbara because I know many people, they they really need actually this, and um, they don't speak English at all. My English is better now, but these people, they don't. Right. So, I've been trying to teach them actually. I have one of my friends, she's my best friend. And normally when I when she feels down, I always I'm working on her, you know, 
then uh, I always make you feel more comfortable, less pain, and things like that. <laughs> so when I when I cure something on here, I cure something for myself too. So that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. But like I said, some people they don't they feel like that sort of they don't trust. Don't trust them anymore. Right. Yeah. I I'm uh, you know, uh, do you do do you cure things in front of like your family and friends and so on? Do you just like do you, can they see what you're doing? No, no longer they don't. Okay, well, that's a good thing to do. Mm hmm Like, um, sometimes to my mom, my dad, and in my room. Normally, I always do something. Always cure even on my dog, my cat, and things like that. You know, always doing something. Yeah, you know... Especially when I... And people actually surround my family that are in the bad mood. It's just, okay, I have to work on that right away. Well, if you just say these things out loud around them so they can see what you're doing, um, that can, you know, like, th that's how they can, uh, you know, assimilate it. You know, that people need to assimilate this. It's the, this is the kind of thing you assimilate. Uh-huh. Okay. And what about um, Anna Gloria? Hi, Byron. Hey. And and how and how are you? I'm fine. No complaints. You, yeah, you seem to be. Uh, I love you. I love what you're tweeting. Thank you. You know, because I'm learning. See, I'm I'm seeing like from your tweets, I can see that you put in correction on yourself. Like you, you know, you discovered the stuff on the web college about demonic attack and entities and that. <laughs> That sort of thing, right? You know, and like you first, you wrote to me because because actually you 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 cured one of those things without ever knowing there was anything on the web college about them. Right, well, without ever knowing it was even there. That's right, you, and that's that see that's an important good. thing because I th I I came to the conclusion after a while that it was really okay for people to just kill their viruses <coughs> and they're, while they were doing that their negative entities would flee away. Mm -hmm. And the only thing is that people get influenced by their negative entities and they don't kill their virus. Mm. Uh -huh. So that's the, that's the danger. I see. And what about um, do people, well, I know you said, well, what helped me was when you said that there are little demons that pass to each other. And oh, they, yeah. Oh, the speed of light. See, so that, that helped. Yeah, that's in the organs lesson. Yeah, that was really helpful. And, um, and also uh, me being aware of if I'm sending out those and, right. and to stop it. Right, that's good. So that was good. And then... But then I was wondering if people also just have demons in general around them, like something else. Yeah. I don't know. I'm trying to figure it all out right well, now. Well, that's the you know the you know the skill the last three pathologies. Mm-hmm. Well, in that skill, um, in the lessons on negative beingness. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll find things about people who you use or have a lot of demons. Mm, okay. Like warlocks, witches. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, just about everybody sometimes. Right. And most, but, peop most people uh, attack people because they're trying to help them. Oh. Yeah. They don't know how to... See, it's... it's when when you when you don't know what to do, you'll do anything. Mm -hmm. So people like try to help the people they love by attacking them. Like kids attack their parents, and parents attack their kids, and so, you know. But well, 
but mm. they, they really can't. It's because they care about each other and they just don't know what else to do. Right, so it comes out in anger. No, the no. person never looks angry or you, you can't oh. tell. Like they're, oh. in fact, a lot, most of it happens during sleep. Wow. So it's this, um, mm. it's this war that's going on underneath the surface of everything. Mm -hmm. mm. Fascinating. Mm. Yeah. You know? So, it, like the person who's angry and yelling at you probably isn't doing that. <laughs> they're, like, they're expressing. Hey, they're, fired. Yeah. Remember, remember you worked with um, Jen about her thyroid? And it was really fascinating because you got that her children were attacking her. Do you remember that? Yeah. That was awesome, that episode. Yep. <laughs> yep. Sure, you, you see that all the time. Mm. You know, you see that all the time. That, uh, and you know, I was wondering too, you know how we get into family situations through incarnations that a lot of that stuff gets worked out. Like, you know, they don't even know there's the effect of that. Well, people, you know, people get pancreatic cancer because their husband was sending, you know, was attacking their pancreas for 30 years. Or their wife was attacking their pancreas or whatever. Yeah. And they never know what hit them. Where it came from. But see, for somebody who just forges ahead and cures things, um, the demons will just bounce right off you. They're very weak. Mm. You know, it's only if you're weak that, that they can do that. Mm. You know, it's why Christians say, you know, just, you know, like, hold on to Jesus, hold on to the rock, you know, like the rock of ages, you know, the, that, that stuff they say. It. And that's why it, it goes back to that. See, because they knew that it's not... There were points where they discovered these things, and you know they didn't like want to talk about it literally because uh, over the centuries Christianity has not been very empowering, uh, so they didn't want to like tell anybody you know about like what's really going on. But you know, I think that probably in this day and age, at least there are certain sects of Christianity that are empowering. And they're, like, maybe the most empowering of any time in history. You know, Christianity has come into its own, you know, and it has become empowering. Mm. Funny thing, you know. Funny thing. Which sex do you think are empowering? Well, I've always liked Joel Osteen. Oh, he's great, yeah. And, you know, I have to tell you a story about him. Oh, and there's another one, Joyce Myers. Mm -hmm. I like her a lot. She's a sweetie, and she, she's always telling people things they can really use, you know, like practical stuff that mm -hmm. she can really use. But anyway, I'll tell you a little story about... Um, uh, Uh, Joel Osteen, and uh, it's a, something that happened recently with me. Uh, you know, I've been watching a lot of YouTube movies and recommending them to you, and, you know, the, the search threw up at random, you know, it just said, you know, this is an inspiring talk by Joel Osteen. So I said, okay, I think I'll listen to that, you know, and I clicked on it. And it was about like half an hour long or so, so that's a you know good amount of a good good length of a talk for me in the afternoon while I'm, you know, doing the things in the kitchen I do and skin brushing and so on. I'll listen to something. It's nice not to change talks, you know. I like getting something that's half an hour, forty minutes, so I can just keep listening. I don't have to stop and select another talk. So 
It looked good. And so I'm listening to this talk, right, with Joel Osteen. And he was, you know, and I was enjoying myself, and he was going on and on. And then he went into this place where he said, and, you know, he always talks to these amphitheaters with like 35,000 people in them, you know? Like 75,000 people. There were these, like, multitudes. He's one of the most successful churches. You know, he's raised like $50 million. He doesn't keep any of the money. He puts it all into, like, helping Africans and stuff. You know, he's a great, really great guy. So, uh, I saw him also on Pierce Morgan, so I know a little about him, because he was talking about himself. But any, anyway, like, he lives off his books. That's how, that's what he, that's his money that he uses for his, you know, household expenses and so on, what he gets from his published books. Anyway, but anyway, he goes into this thing where he starts to say, that probably men and women should not form friendships outside of their marriage. And so he was saying, like, if you, like, like, if you're at work, you know, and there's this woman who's, you know, she's fascinating and she's a good colleague and so on, you feel like taking her to lunch. And he said, probably you shouldn't, like, do that more than maybe once because if you keep, like, hanging out with this woman, at some point, you're going to find yourselves in a hotel room <laughs> together, you know? And I was listening to him, and I was of two minds, because, like, that would really be a disaster, you know? Like, it would, like, that, like it, that would totally crash somebody's immune system if that ever happened. So, like, pr preventing that was maybe a good idea, you know? And so I was thinking about that, but it, it was obviously there was something so very wrong with it, you know. And I'm, as I'm listening, I'm going, oh, what is wrong with this picture? And then all of a sudden I realized that these people have no immune system. They really can't, you know, go out to lunch with a woman colleague because they will end up in a hotel room. And he's giving them very practical advice because they, they are not immune to, you know, whatever, you know, like demons she might send at them or somebody else might or some other influence that might happen or their own immune dysfunctions or pathologies or addictions or God knows what else is wrong with these people. And they will get creamed if they do this stuff. So, like, he was just being a good minister. It wasn't, like, real, it wasn't really that there was anything wrong with him other than he is absolutely clueless at instructing them in how to immunize themselves. Mm -hmm. Well, Baba did say it was a can of worms. Yeah, right. Well, Baba had the same problem, didn't he, you know? That's why Baba's got us now. Because when Baba was around, you know, I'll tell you what, one of the things that Baba said, like a long, long time ago, probably back in the 1940s, is he said, I am doing my work in this world. He said, this is the way I'm going to do it. And then uh, he said, what he was doing was he was going to, he was building up this spiritual power. Like he was going to speak a word. And this word was going to cause a transformation in humanity from reason to intuition. So basically what he was saying is everything up to the year 1968 was reason. Or before that it was instinct. But, you know, at that, when he spoke, and that's, what see, I've tested this. This is how, because nobody ever heard him speak any word before he died. There's no record of him doing the thing he said he was going to do. They were all waiting for him to speak this word, and when he died, he was still silent. He never said anything. You know, like with his mouth. But what I tested was that the harmonic, this vibration that we're all accessing, that's his word. You are accessing Baba's word. And he once described his word. And he said that the word that I speak, this is, he used a metaphor, okay? 
He said, the word that I speak will be like a cobra moving through a room full of people. Most of the people won't notice it at all. And then some of them will be fascinated or interested. Some of them will shriek in fear. Others will only be mildly surprised. Some people will do something with the cobra and so on. Everybody will react differently. And that's exactly what's happening with this, what we're doing. This is what we see happening around us. It is exactly what Bob had described as what the way his word would be received in the world. And the, like the people who, you know, who have been with Baba for many years and they've, like they go to meetings, Baba meetings, there's a lot of Baba groups around the world. And, uh, you know, most of them do not have access to what you have access to, nor do they want it or believe it's possible. And, like, if you tell them about this, they just say it's crazy and it's not Baba's work and uh, yeah, there's nothing to it. However, my Baba contact, Edward Luck, has tested and gets signals and cured things. I have a movie of him curing some organ things and also telling a major Baba story. It's a great movie, which maybe I should share once again. I've shared, every so often I share it, but his Baba story is the quintessential Meher Baba story. It's just absolutely wonderful. And it's about his personal, how he came to Baba. You know, um, and so maybe I'll just, if I remember, I'll share that tomorrow. And uh, so, you know, some of them do get it. There are some of them that do get it. So, that, so that's, you know, that's the, so, you know, like wanting to be with God, and like going to church every week and so on, doesn't necessarily mean a person ends up getting connected to God. That's karmic. You know, it's a whole karmic thing. And somebody who isn't, who never goes to church and says, I don't believe in God, bingo, all of a sudden, they get connected to God in a really big way, and they're on a mission for God, and they're, and they're like true to their mission, and they, they're really, they really become, you know, a spiritual person in the active sense. Ba Mayor Baba said that spirituality needs to be practical, the kind of yoga that he taught was karma yoga, which is the yoga of undoing your karma, undoing your sanskaras. So he didn't teach people to sit in positions cross-legged on the floor. And he used to say that he wasn't a yogi, he was God. And he was the incarnation of God. <clears throat> If you read Wikipedia, by the way, I'll tell you something, I'm absolutely in love with Wikipedia, and I think Wikipedia is a far better resource to find out about Mayor Baba than the Baba books and all. It's just so hard to like plow through those books and try to learn about Mayor Baba. But if you go to the Wikipedia page about Mayor Baba, like for example, Mayor Baba had five masters who were the masters of that age who brought him into his avatarhood because that's what had the avatar when the avatar is born the avatar doesn't know that he's the avatar like Baba when he was born he was a middle-class Indian kid who was the captain of the cricket team and he went to one of these little preppy schools you know where they wore school ties and blazers and stuff and he used to ride his bike home from school and on the way home, he used to pass this woman who sat under a neem tree. She had been under that neem tree for about 30 years. And her, her, you know, her lovers, her, her um, worshippers, uh, they erected like a sort of a wooden shelter around her with like a galvanized tin roof and stuff so it didn't rain on her and so on. But she basically just sat there and... Uh, so, and people would go, you know, and sit in front of her, and after school he would go and he would sit in front of her sometimes, like for half an hour or something, and then he'd go home and eat dinner. And one day, I guess he was, I think he was 17 at the time, she called him over and kissed him on the forehead. 
And when he went home, he fell into a trance, didn't eat dinner, wouldn't talk, wouldn't eat, and he was like nuts. And his parents freaked out and they started taking him to doctors and so on, trying to figure out what was wrong with him. And then, of course, India is a very spiritual country, so some, and some of their friends said, well, you know, he's been sitting with Babajan, you know, maybe, that, maybe she did something, but they didn't know she wouldn't say anything about it. And so they, they had to piece the whole thing together and later it came out that, you know, because there was a bunch of people who saw her kiss him on the forehead. And then, they, so they took him to this succession of masters who then each one changed him in a different way. But, but that's all in Wikipedia, you know, you can actually, like, you, there are pages on each of the masters. So you can click on Sai Baba and you can go to, you know, the page on Sai Baba and read about him and so on. Or for that matter, Baba's father and mother are very interesting. Like, their lives are very interesting. Um, because, you know, there's this, there's this, uh, urban myth or whatever you want to call it that you know if you sit in a circle for 40 days you can have anything you ask for so Baba's father did that <laughs> he actually you know I knew another guy who did that too it was his name was Gary Empey and he did it and and he, he couldn't think of anything to ask for at the end of the 40 days, so he just walked out of the circle. <laughs> but anyway, Baba's father did it, and uh, he asked for you know, spiritual advancement or blessing or something. And I guess he was told, I don't know how, I think it's, if you read Wikipedia, maybe you can find the story. But he, you know, he was told that his son would be something, like he wasn't going to be able to attain what he wanted, you know, spiritually, but his son would be, like, really important. So, so he, uh, I guess, was pretty happy to hear that. But anyway, the, so this is a, a few things about Meher Baba. And just one other thing, you know, I was looking at a movie of Meher Baba um, not, you know, too many months ago, and it was one of those movies where he's sitting in a chair. You know, he's silent, so he's not, you know, he doesn't talk. But he's very animated, and he makes a lot of hand gestures. And at the time, I think there was a program of people, his lovers were there playing music or something. And he was sitting there, and he was tapping with his fingers on the arms of the chairs. And I suddenly realized that he was getting signals. He was doing his universal work while he was sitting in the chair. You know, that was his universal work. And I think for, you know how like our fingers jump? And for us, these are yes, no answers and so on. But I think for Baba, it was probably just that a lot of energy was running through him. You know? But he didn't work with energy. It was just a byproduct of what he was doing. But what he, was, what he did, you don't do with energy. Energy is just, it's not a very high manifestation of, uh, of you know, power to change. You can't change the universe with energy. But anyway, but for that, for all that, I realized, like, there it was, the forerunner of, you know, what our testing, you know, with Mayor Bob is sitting there doing that with his fingers, <laughs> for whatever it's worth. And I did not think of this or know it when I started using these finger movements. It act, they actually came from watching other people who I showed how to test. And I noticed when I showed people how to test, almost nobody ever did what I showed them. And they were sitting right in front of me and I would be filming them. And Barb was there and Barb would show them how to use their fingers. And they would do something else. And sometimes their finger would move a little bit aside or they'd, do, they'd have something else and that would be their signal, you know. And I just accepted all those. And then I started to realize, well, maybe these kinds of signals are better. So then I converted over to what they were doing. That's how that happened. Because my our, our signals, when Barb and I started showing people this, were, they we used to hook our thumb and forefinger. It was like muscle testing that we were doing. It was still like muscle testing, you know. Whereas what you know what people were doing when I was watching them was not muscle testing. They were you know, they were like having, they were really getting a signal, 
you know, their, like their fingers would just slowly move apart without them meaning to do that. I was going like, what? It was like a go seeing a ghost, you know? Yeah. Well, so at, at that, I will say now that uh, given that it is 9.44, um, why don't we do a little uh, praying with our man himself, Deacon Ron? You st I don't, still don't see very much light on you, Ron. I was just thinking, after 40 days of being in the circle, I would ask for a new cushion. <laughs> I can go another 40 with a new cushion. What do you say, Lord? <laughs> All right, you ready to get started? Yep. Uh -huh. All right, here we go. First one is the continuous lensing prayer. These prayers aren't things you say, they are things you do. So when I get my signal, here we go. All my bodies are free of pathology. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. All my bodies are free of immune dysfunction. Yes. 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 All my bodies are at full function. Yes. 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 All my God connectors are in. Yes. 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 I am installing the reflex to give love and empowerment. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I attract real happy feelings in others. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm merging my result bodies with uh, with what? <laughs> Other people. What happened? I'm reading it off the website. Oh. <laughs> okay, and I'm removing and installing the right factors. Oh, it says, okay, it has, it's the first time I'm reading it like this. It says, choose some people. All right. It's not, I'm not used to, I'm used to reading it a different way. Right. Okay. All right, I'm merging my results bodies with choose some people, and I'm removing and installing the right factors. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I'm on the best side of my highest possible dimension. Yes. 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 Yeah. I am removing all tendencies in the world to solve problems with violence. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm removing all disturbances from the emotional bodies of everyone in the world. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 
I am protecting myself and my people from incipient catastrophes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I am realizing the loving, world-shaping, and God-given intentions I've carried from life to life. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I'm causing my career and those of the people I love to be what God intends. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I am attracting increased capacity in myself and in my groups to accept power infusion. Yes. 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 My particle attributes are in balance and at full strength to succeed at God's work. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All my bodies are in God. Yeah. Yes. 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 <clears throat> All my bodies are one rainbow. I am free. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. I am now as happy as I have ever been. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Not Nicely done. Thank you, Ron. Beautiful. Does anyone have any questions about what I was saying before? So Mayor Baba never spoke? He spoke uh, up until a point in his life when he began holding a silence. <coughs> Uh, he said that uh, there had been too many spiritual lectures already, that he'd been giving spiritual lectures for thousands of years, and it was time to actually do it for action. It was time to do something. Not for that. He was, si he was <laughs> silent for the last 43 years of his life. And he lived to be 74, so therefore, he was 31 when he began holding his silence. He was known to be an extremely charming speaker once he came out of his bliss state and his other state of intense suffering and he became somewhat normal. He got more and more charming and engaging as time went on and then he started to realize that that wasn't doing anything, I guess, so he start, he held a silence after that. And people around him knew what to do. Well, he spoke to them at first with an alphabet board. Oh. So his silence was like symbolic. It was a, he was sending a message. Mm -hmm. It worked. You know, they used to call him the silent master. Mm. Mm -hmm. What'd you say, Anna? That they had to try harder than to hear what he was really saying. <laughs> That's right, yeah. 
Uh -huh. Yeah, it got their attention. <laughs> well, that was the beginning of that question. He was an early texter. <laughs> <laughs> he was an early tag. That boy, he oh. would he would have gone crazy with Twitter. <laughs> you know, with these smartphones, everybody's got their own alphabet board. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, but that's so true. People know, speak to the whole world with their little alphabet boards now. <laughs> I know, it's so fun. You know, a scant uh, half century after Mayor <clears throat> Baba dropped his body. That's true. Wow. Or maybe not even like, what, 40 years. He died in 69. <laughs> yeah, so 45 years or so later, we were, we've all got alphabet boards. <laughs> Who, who knew it was a trend? <laughs> I like what you said in one of your um, YouTubes where you said after looking at or having a lesson, then we, we nail it with a tweet. <laughs> yeah, right. That was good. Yeah. And that helps to keep it in our memory. Yeah, that's right, it does. Yeah, that was good. So... You know, Alejandra, it's like what you were saying before about how you do so many little things all day. You're always doing some kind of immunic action, right? Mm -hmm. And so you ought to send out like 20 tweets a day. Like, tell us about each one. Sorry, are you going to the next one? Tell us, tell us about each thing you do. Well... No, I mean, not now. When, like, tweet about each thing. <laughs> yeah, no, and I have hard time with tweets. I don't know why. It's well, just like me. it would keep us, you, you would keep us hopping. Yeah, that's all the telephone, so she, she pushed me. But you must do it. <laughs> yeah, so, we, uh, but, um, we could use it, you know, it, it'll, it'll inspire all kinds of cures in other people. And actually, I'm getting addicted because so I was, now I'm feeling actually. Yeah, good. I'm very addicted to that. Yeah, good for you. Yeah, and how we actually to every time I I want something, it sounds super deep, kind of like a cure something. Mhm. Mm so it's a great feeling, actually. Good. No, oh, it is. Yeah, but uh, I'm getting addicted, so don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I've been giving little lectures. I don't know if you've been... Have you been reading the tweets I've been sending? Yeah, that was nice. Yeah, I've, been giving, nice. I've been giving little lectures with my tweets. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You know? Yeah, that's true. Well, I like the little comrade. Quote, quote. Yeah, right. Uh -huh. <laughs> I've been, I've been rereading more Jim, so I'm... Every so often, I run across a little gem there, and I have to I have to tweet it. Mm -hmm. Good. Boy, Conrad was one for one-liners, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah, a good one. Uh, but in my case, I still prefer Facebook. It's just me. But uh, anyway, I'm getting there from my phone. No money. Mm. Yeah, can you find Twitter CC? Hmm. For my phone, Twitter's easier, but for my computer, I tend to use um, Facebook sometimes to look at it. Just flip back and forth. Yeah, same for me. We, I figured out that your, you know, your Twitter can feed into your Facebook, too, so that's always nice. Well, I've been keeping my Facebook active by feeding my Twitter into my Facebook. Yeah. I hardly yeah. ever post on Facebook, I'm, I, but I get about, you know, a dozen things through to it every day. Maybe more. I've been retweeting all the stuff you guys tweet, so mm -hmm. I probably send 20 or 30 things through to Facebook every day. And I have, t you know, over 2,000 Facebook friends. Mm -hmm. And I notice people that I've never heard of clicking like on things. Mm -hmm. Which is really nice to see that I'm actually, you know, affecting somebody. 
And a lot of times, Alejandra, it's your tweet or Gloria, it's yours. Mm-hmm. You know? Sure. Yeah, I think that's a couple of followers, just by that. Wow. Yeah. So, people look at those, and some of the people like them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what we're, what we're saying, so. Mm-hmm. Got you on there, Barb. <laughs> I know, I followed you yesterday. <laughs> All right. Well, this is different than a stalker now, isn't it? I'm just kind of... <laughs> Curious. <laughs> yeah. I like to yeah, it's fun. Oh, it's kind of fun that you can't make too many comments and people can just say you can so I forward people's tweets too. Other people so just they come uh -huh. They say it. Yeah. They nail it so much or just really it. Alejandra, are you friends with uh, Facebook friends with Anna? Yeah. Oh, good. You know, I just had a big idea. Let's all recommend Facebook friends for Anna. Good. It'll only take a minute. Go to Anna's Facebook wall. Okay. And go, click on that gear and, re, you know, refer, it says, ref, um, you know, recommend friends. And let's, we're going to recommend more friends for you, Anna. Okay. Actually, I think I have a lot. I probably should just keep clicking. <laughs> There's a whole list of them there. You mean that want to be your friend? Yeah. Or they're, yeah, they're, they're on the list, recommended friends. Well, don't don't bother to try to get them to be your friends. Let them ask you. It's okay. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. You can just yeah. let them ask you. Um, but make sure you confirm all your new, like, requests, okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've been doing that. Since we referred her the last time, she's gone up about... Six hundred and ninety or six hundred and eighty-five yeah. friends. Mm. Which means it's and not I, just because you recommended them, it's because of who you are. Because we've done yeah. other people and they go up like a hundred or well, twenty five or something. We've else. we've you know, we've asked you're you're helping us uh, reach our Facebook friends about curing things. Mm -hmm. That's what's happening yeah. because you're sending out all these things about curing things. Now they're getting it from you and us. Right, yeah, good. So really, it's just the number of times from the number of different people, at some point the person like says, oh, maybe I should take this seriously. That's what it's really about, is having people take it seriously. Mm -hmm. And getting the concepts out there, right? A little bit, the language. Yeah. Because it's kind of different. Yeah. Particle attributes and things like that, you know. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. So for them to hear it is the beginning. Mm -hmm. Pretty soon it'll become kind of more known to them. Right. That's the idea, to have it become known. Mm -hmm. Assimilation. Mm-hmm. So, Ron, have you recommended Facebook friends for Anna? I'm doing that right now. Okay. It's always a fun thing to do in one of these meetings. And then we will say the next prayer, which is the gravitational strengthening prayer. And Anna, you could recommend Facebook friends for uh, Barb or me, perhaps? All right. Um, do I pick individuals? Um, I guess I'm not sure how to do that. Okay, um, you go to, let's say, go to my Facebook wall. All right. I'm on it. And uh, you go to that uh, gear that's, you know, where you, you get this drop down box. Right. About your relationship, when it says uh, recommend friends. Yeah, I see that. Okay, so you okay. click on that, and it should give you like 50 people already selected. Or maybe you have to click each person individually, I can't remember. Oh, okay, so I can suggest them for you. 
Yeah, just just click every everybody, you know, where whoever, you know, is there and who is not my friend yet, just click them and Oh, okay. You can't try to figure out who wants to be my Facebook friend. That's impossible, you know. So you just you just ask every make, you know, make the shortest possible mouse movements. That's the way to do it. <laughs> Phew. Phew. Okay. Phew. I see. Sounds like we're all chomping. Say <laughs> <laughs> a lot more than 50. I can just keep going now. I think it is. You should probably hit send and then start over. Yeah. So that nothing goes wrong. Right. In the middle of this. Good idea. You know, if you got a few selected, just, you know, click send and then start again. Hmm. This is something, it, it's a form of volunteer work. It's something that you should be doing when you're not in this meeting till okay. you've recommended all your friends for the person. And Anna, in your case, for me or Barb. Okay. Hey Anna, can you can you check and see if mine just got there? I'm just curious. Checking your Facebook. Well, it may take a minute. Oh, I see. Okay. These are showing up, but it has been working. So probably, if it says you sent them, you did. It does. It doesn't say I sent them. I show up again. I have a lot of them that say add a friend, but mm -hmm. it doesn't say suggested for me. Okay. Uh, it doesn't say send, it just says close. It's weird, a little box. Really? Yeah. yeah. I just did that with FireX, but I think it was okay. I closed it, but they show up like it doesn't say friend request sent, it just says suggest again, but let me try it one more time. Facebook is smart though, it has my most commonly communicated with people on the top. Remembers. All righty, I think you should complete what you're doing with this, and we're going to go into our next prayer. Okay. Gravitational strengthening? Yep. Yep. <clears throat> the purpose of doing this is to attract chi. The chi will then perform immunic actions of its own. When you do these actions, do them for your family and soulmates too. When I get my signal, I accept God's wisdom. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I attract grace. Yes. Yeah. I attract guides and guidance. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. 
I attract knowingness and wisdom. Yeah. 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 I attract the experiences I need so I can learn what I need to learn to do God's work. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh. I install discrimination between people that win and ones that do. discrimination between activities that win and ones that don't. Yes? Yes. Yes. I've installed discrimination between locations that win and ones that don't. Yes. 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 I've installed a reflex to drop the ones that don't win, even when I'm succeeding with them. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And I've installed a reflex to do the ones that do win, even when I'm a beginner at them. Yeah. Yes. 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 I am installing the reflex to dwell on solutions. Yes. 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 I fulfill the hopes of my parents and ancestors. Yeah. Yes. 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 Yeah. I'm merging my results bodies with parents and ancestors, and I'm removing and installing the right factors. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I'm doing these prayers for my family, loved ones, and soulmates, as well as for myself. Yeah. Yes. 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 Yeah. I attract money and other wealth. Yes. 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 <clears throat> I attract tools to fulfill my mission. <clears throat> yes. Yes. I attract technologies to fulfill my mission. Yes. 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 I attract respect. What a pro. Yes. 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 <laughs> I attract cures. Yes. Yeah. 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 I attract fame. Yes. Yeah. 
I attract health, wellness, and longevity. Yes. 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 I attract remedies and antidotes to dysfunction. Yes. Yes. I attract faith. Yes. I attract gratitude. Yes. 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 I attract fun. Yes. 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 Yeah. Okay, I got to fill in the blank here. I love name a person unconditionally. Yes. 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 I attract the love of my life. Yes. 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 I let in love and nurturing. I attract my children and students. Yes. 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 I attract astute, committed immuners. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I attract powerful benevolent allies. Yes. I attract people who appreciate and support me and my mission. Yes. 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 I attract people who will connect me to the people I need to talk to. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, let's fill in the blank here. I attract name some people. I attract name some people. <laughs> Yes. Sure. <laughs> you got a sure here. <laughs> He's following your nails. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Alejandro, it looks like it's freezing in Australia. <laughs> it is very cold. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. Winter's coming on. That's right. Yeah. Tag, tag, you're it. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sure. I attract forgiveness. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yeah. 
In the last five minutes, I've become a bigger person. Yeah. 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 I attract worldwide awareness and use of immunity. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm leaving behind everything that slows me down. Yes. Yes. I want nothing. I've done enough minutes on myself today to create a critical mass. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 That's it. Thank you. Thank you, Ron. Sure. Karen, when will we be able to see you? Um, I'm getting the brand new computer that I just bought repaired. I'm picking it up tomorrow. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Should be good. All right. I'm looking forward. I, I, I can't work on Friday with you because I have a 10 hour work day. But, uh, I don't know what else you would like to do. I'm. I'll, I'll connect with you. Well, just tweet tomorrow. Just what? Well, just tweet all day. You'll be connected with us every day. You can just you can connect with us. Anytime. Yeah, I need to figure out how to do that. I'm, I Katie Harrison, you know, to show me how to do it. On like Barb will show you on your smartphone. Just uh, you know. Yep, I got a brand new one, so that's good. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, just just stay read read our tweets and send your own and cure things and tweet about it. I will. You can stay connected with us. That's, okay. It's really wonderful. I tell you, like I feel connected with everybody all day. <laughs> it's, it's nice. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. So does anybody have any further questions? Oh. Hmm. Could you, I guess, elucidate a little bit on the power of fusion? Oh, sure. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry, Ron, what did you just say? In, in one of the prayers, it talks about power of fusion. Uh, I just wanted Byron to talk a little bit about that. Yeah. Well, um... Power infusion can be anything, but it's something that makes you more powerful. So, for example, you meet somebody and they, um, you know, they say something to you that uh, causes you to cure something. That's a power infusion. Or uh, somebody brings... Oh, like uh, on Friday, Fr Barb had her friend Max at the Cure Team meeting. And that was a power infusion because Max was, he, he, was, he contributed something to the meeting that was useful and important. So mm -hmm. that was a power infusion. And uh, it, it can just be anything. Mm -hmm. You know, it can be somebody uh, inviting you to a party, it can be a power infusion, or somebody donating a million dollars to your ministry can be a power infusion. Big or small, they can all be power infusions. Okay. You know, is that what you thought it was? Yeah, I wasn't 100% certain, I was like, yeah. Okay. something along that line. But 
Hmm. So any other questions? Well, you know, that's based on a famous quote by Meher Baba. Meher Baba, Meher Baba said, want nothing and you will have everything. And see, the idea, like Buddha said that the suffering is caused by attachment. Normally, I want nothing, you know. Everybody wants something, and I want to be healthy or something like that. Did you just say, normally, I want nothing? Yeah, because normally, when I was kind of, I don't know, insecure about that, because normally when you say, I want nothing, everybody's having a chance, so we want something, we want something, you know. Be healthy, you want many things. Well, when you want nothing, see, see, if you're wanting something, you won't be able to recognize something good when it comes your way, because you're, because you'll be obsessing about what this thing that you want that you don't have. But mm -hmm. if, but if you want nothing, what, what you, you know, you'll discover that you're surrounded by wonderful things, and you'll let them in. Yeah, that's true. Actually, that's true. So wanting nothing is a good way to be happy and want and have things. Wanting not not wanting nothing, we recognize what we have. Mm-hmm. All right. These are good questions. Any other questions? Yeah, any questions? You know, when I started getting signals, a lot of these, the spiritual training that I'd had throughout my life made sense when we're in a way that it never had before. Like just this, you know, this issue of wanting something or nothing, like all of a sudden I realized that that was important and I turned it into a prayer. And, you know, back before I started getting signals, I, you know, really couldn't help but want all kinds of things. And I didn't want them as much as I had, you know. I, I, my wanting decreased as I went throughout my life, but I had a big breakthrough when I started getting signals. And I changed into, uh, you know, somebody who could see that that issue in a way I, I had never been able to see it before. So that is a, uh, that's a change, it was a big change for me. Um, any other questions? Uh, and also, what's the difference between uh, 124 dimension and um, shackles? I don't know much about Oh, well, I'll tell you what. Um, I'm not sure exactly whether I should explain anything or not. Um, I think your best bet with chakras is to learn a little something about them before you ask me about them. Because it would be much easier for me to talk to you about chakras if, you're, if we were building on what you already know. So what you should do is look up chakras on the web mm -hmm. and see if you can find things on the web that tell you what they are and what they do and, and about them. And, uh, but ba basically they're, they're sending and receiving stations. Okay. Um, they're like two way, they're like two way radio broadcasters and you have this you, you have kind of a radio tower that goes up from your body 
it's not necessarily connected to your physical body all the time. Okay. But usually it's sort of like around, you know, in, in the inside of your physical body. Anyway, that's what it, that's what your chakras are. Okay, I I would have a Yeah. I thought of a question. Okay. Um, you know how uh, I was reading about how we should move our bodies around and try to protect other people? Yeah. How, what, um, how does that work and how do you do that? Well, when you merge your gra like let's all do this. Um, I'm merging my gravitational body with uh, Jens, one of our cure team members. But we'll merge our gravitational body with Jen. And just by doing that, you're protecting her. Oh. Oh, okay. Then, you know, then once you've done that, you may, you know, like, read her gravitational body and yours and see how the two are relating and so on and make adjustments and, you know, you can sort of improvise. Okay. So that's what's meant by moving it around is connecting with other people? Yeah. And protecting. Okay. Your gravitational body, for example, is always moving around anyway. Mm. You know, it, it goes out and reads, it, it reads DNA codes. Mm -hmm. It's how, it's how all, see, all organisms, like you had a gravitational body when you were a subatomic particle. And all on the way up, so, so you've always had a, gravi almost always had a gravitational body. Like I think you get it on the, on the, on the pre-zero dimension you get a gravitational body. And this is how um, organisms borrow and get DNA codes from each other. You know, their gravitational body, move, your gravitational body moves very quickly. So it can read like billions of things like in, a, in, a, in an instant. And that's what it does, it just keeps moving around till it finds something, then it grabs it, puts it in the spiral body and, you know, goes back for more. Or sometimes it's, I don't know how much, I don't know how much storage it has. So why can't we infuse um, an expedient ability to access from that place? Is that unethical? No, we do that. I mean, intentionally. We, the, the, the we, do in, there, we do it in there. We do it intentionally. So it's happening. Yeah, that well, that's, the idea is to be intentional with it instead of just letting your gravitational body go around and do its thing. Because like gra people's gravitational bodies get back their cancer codes after they take them out. So they have cancer again. So like, the gravitational body can be pretty stupid. So, like, the idea is to do it intentionally. That's what, it, that's what immunix is. That's what immunity is. Doing it intentionally. Well, that's why can't... I guess I'm talking about influencing others. Yeah, you can influence others, and, and that's what you're supposed to be doing all day. That's, you're supposed to be doing that and tweeting about it. That's what I was asking you to do before. <laughs> I don't mean people I know, I mean huge groups of people. Sure, yeah, you could do that. At the gravitational level. That's what the, the next prayer, which we're going to have to say right yeah. now, if we're ever going to say it, um, that's what the next prayer, <laughs> that's what the next prayer is about. That's what we're doing when we do the next prayer. Great. Okay, so let's do the next prayer. Ron, here we have the right good, yeah. good segue. Yeah. Take it away. Okay. Okay. 
Here we go, uh, kids. Okay, we're going to do the no, it's your the global healing prayer. Okay. The prayer isn't something you say. It's something you do. Okay. All right. I'm raising the noosphere to the 27th dimension. Yes. Yeah. 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 I'm removing all pathologies from the noosphere. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm adjusting the particle indexes of the noosphere so that they are in balance and at full strength. Yeah. 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 I'm adjusting the meridians of the noosphere to create a free and balanced energy flow. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm adjusting the chakras of the noosphere to be at full function. Yeah. Yes. All the bodies of the noosphere are at full function. Yes. 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 The noosphere is unswitched and headed in God's direction. Yes. yes. I'm removing all impressions from the karmic body of the noosphere. Yes. Yes. I'm removing terrorism from the gravitational and spiral bodies of the noosphere. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm removing the tendency to use biological weapons from the gravitational and spiral bodies of the noosphere. Yeah. 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 I am merging my higher bodies with others who understand what we're doing. Yes. 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 I'm removing any predisposition in the noosphere toward disease. Yes. 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 All the bodies of the nodes here are one rainbow. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I am now asking the forgiveness of everyone I have ever harmed or will harm by not making immuno available to them faster. Yes. 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 They heard and received my request in their results box. Yes. 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 They have forgiven me. Yes. 
Doing this helps them discover immunics for themselves without me needing to be better in order to give it to them. Yes. 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 That's it. Wow. Thank you, Ron. Thank you. Thank you, Ron. And that is what it is to infuse. <laughs> so. Well, guys, this has been a swell meeting, and it's our first meeting I've ever filmed. So I hope uh, people enjoy it and learn how to do the prayers from it. Does anyone have any closing statements? Thanks for coming, Alejandra, Anna, Ron. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No fun. Yeah. Hey, thanks for coming, Greg. Okay. Yeah, you're back there. I hear his voice. Thank Karen. Have a very nice Randy. Happy to see you, Karen. Yeah. I, I have something to say. I, I can't think of any point in time in my life right now that is more a concentration of contribution and receiving than this prayer with you guys. Thank you for saying so. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah, I had somebody write me a Facebook message, Joe E's, and say, I wanted to thank you guys for that prayer, All My Bodies Are in God. <laughs> so, <laughs> thank you guys. Yeah. I think that more people do these prayers than we realize. So it really helps me change my life. Yeah. You know, it's um, funny because that prayer is nonsense because your mm -hmm. bodies are always in God, you know? Yeah. You can't get out of God. God's maybe, everywhere. But maybe it's connecting with that fact and relaxing. Maybe, but yeah. some, that is my favorite prayer. That is, I just, I, it popped into my head one day, and it's, it's always been my favorite prayer. I have no idea why, because I knew it was nonsense when I discovered it. But yet it, it, may, it gave me a certain feeling, so I, I kept saying it. Yeah, but to be aware of it and declare it, and to give it to yourself is a different thing. Mm hmm Truly. Yeah, or like if you're going through something scary. Truly. Well, um, we're all on, let, okay, let's set, I'm on the 144th dimension. Okay. Mm, yes. 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 Yep. Yes. Yes. And I'm linking my uh, results bodies with yours. And a very good night to everyone. Good, night. good morning to Alejandra. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> I, like I hope your it's new, a warm day. Your new vegan yeah. style, Ron, it's good. With that? The veganism, it looks good on you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? Looking healthy. Yeah, their body is sending out a different kind of light or something. Yeah, right. looking healthy. <laughs> <laughs> You're on vegetarian daily or whatever. Okay? <laughs> well, that's that. First cure team, I mean, first prayer meeting ever filmed. 30 years in the making. This movie was given to you by HUM, the World Ministry of Immunix, which enables you to cure medically incurable diseases. We also produce the Cure Drive in the iCollege of Immunix. This is the home page. And as you see here, the movie that starts playing automatically when the page opens is a three-hour tutorial film, which underneath it is a, the beginning of a series of movies. If you click on these links, uh, you go to another movie that's a continuation of the tutorial, uh, showing different aspects of uh, the things that people need to get into when they cure things. The movie shows many people 
curing things. You'll find complete cure tutorials on the home page. Um, under the group at the top is another uh, this is a video and text tutorial and uh, if you click on the link uh, you'll see it has 10 lessons and you can click on the, each lesson and you'll see it that the lessons are movies interspersed with explanations and if you continue scrolling down the home page you'll find a huge bank of movies of people curing things. Here's one of someone curing multiple sclerosis that you can click on and these play. Hopefully this one will play in a moment. There it is. <laughs> so that woman cured uh, PPMS and MS. Here you'll find people from every continent, Europe, the US, Asia, Canada, this woman cured shingles and in this particular movie. She, that's what she's uh, demonstrating. And at the top of the home page, you will find links to the uh, cure meetings that we have every week. Um, 9 p.m. New York time, Rome time, 8 p.m. Underneath the Cure Meetings, uh, you'll find a link to Friend Me. It's actually Byard on Byard, speaking to you on Facebook. And you'll meet many people who are my Facebook friends there who have cured various diseases. Many of us have cured herpes, which is what I cured. Also there, if you have trouble getting signals, there is a uh, whole bank of movies that focus on people who are just starting to get their first signals. Uh, many of these people went on to bigger and better things and you see them in other movies. But these are movies about their signals. How they got their first signals. At the very top of the home page you will find above the uh, masthead a link to the cure shows and we uh, documented people curing things on these are on the we did this on the phone there are shows on about 75 diseases and the diseases are listed alphabetically as you can see uh, you actually hear the people curing these diseases during these shows uh, that's post-traumatic stress syndrome from 9-11, you know, the uh, catastrophe. Uh, we have a show on that. And fever, somebody curing the fever. Several people curing fibromyalgia. Flu, we had a flu hotline and there are many people. These people are actually curing flu and the flu stops. It clears up during the 15 or 20 minutes of the call doesn't take long to cure the flu. Uh, over here you have uh, paralysis, parasitic parenting, Parkinson's disease. When you cure something, please uh, join your voice with the voices of the many people who came before you by reporting your cure in our poll, which you can do right above the tally of the cures that people have reported is here at the top and as you can see there's a little link here and if you click on that you will come to a form that enables you to report your cure this page is the hub of the web college and as you can see there are uh, detailed lessons on how to remove viruses cure cancer Here's a movie on the right here of a doctor who actually years ago cured the flu on camera. You'll notice that skill one in the hierarchy of skills is cure physical diseases. 
Um, that's the very, that's the, actually the easiest thing with this particular approach. And I've uh, put a great many things in the hierarchy of skills that relate to cure, fi curing physical diseases, such as ending trauma, working on your organs. Now, if we go into the recode your DNA, these are, there are f 10 applications or 11 applications, and recode your DNA is one of them. If we go inside here, what we see is a page with a huge amount of links, and then if we look at the links on the right, after the ones on the left which prepare you, these are the actual lessons. And you can see some of them. It might be hard for some people to see why blind installation procedure is related to recoding your DNA. And this is why we've put it in this application so that it relates it in your mind. This is the reason the web college is organized the way it is is to relate things for you in your mind. And obviously there are a huge number of things like if you're curing cancer or herpes or any medically incurable disease, it's obvious that there are a great many things that you have to learn. And they're different for everybody. You do not have to learn everything that's listed here. <laughs> and in fact, cure is instantaneous and it's always unexpected how it will come. Like watch these women. They're going to give you a perspective. This is a good way to conclude this little overview I'm giving you here. Say, can I go to the 144th dimension? See if you get a signal on that. Can I go to the 144th dimension? Can I go to the 144th dimension? Yes? I guess I can. Go ahead and do it. Okay, okay. And both of you go to the 144th dimension. I'm taking myself to the 144th dimension. Mm. Yeah. Me too. No stopping for gas on the 8th dimension. <laughs> <laughs> I feel uh, clear. I feel uh, less interested in anything below the 144th dimension. <laughs> <laughs> Can we stay here all the time? I know, exactly. <laughs> well, I mean, this would take a lot of backstory, but there are some decisions that my family's making that have, that I now feel clear about. Yes, because when you have that perspective from the 144th dimension, yeah. you, like, you simply don't care about anything as much. That's exactly it. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't care doesn't sound so good. <laughs> well, see, that's right. I, it, but it's it. That's really not an effect. When, when, you, when people hear we say we don't care, they go, well, God, that, you, that's sick, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs>